Greetings, fellow outsiders, and welcome to the full release of Amanda the Adventure. Amanda Will. Oh. I'm really excited for this game. I hope you guys are too. I spent quite a bit of time trying to find as many secrets, and it's certainly filled to the brim with lore. I have a lot of I have a lot of theories after playing this game, so I'm excited for you guys to watch. Let's play. Dear Riley, if you are reading this, it means that you won't see me again unless it's in the next life. I wish I could have told you everything. I don't know how much time I have, and there is still much I have to do before I'm gone. This letter serves two purposes, to say goodbye and to bequeath to you my house in Kensdale. This next part may be a mistake, and gods forgive me if it is. When you settle in, there's something in the attic I need to pass on to you. Look for the tape, but know that once you watch it, there's no turning back. Stay safe, my dear, with you always, Aunt Kate. Kate, what the heck? All right, we're in the attic. I guess we decided that we don't want to turn back anymore. What is in here? Meat? Is it meat? <laughs> it's not meat, okay. So we have things that we can find codes for, I'm assuming. Here we have pots and this and this. Oh God, there's so many things to interact with. So many codes and things that we could potentially find. Oh, hey there, buddy. <laughs> is this the note we had found originally? Okay, it is. Good thing she left the controls on a little, um, <laughs> little cheat sheet for us. Dear Miss Park, I know it's been a long time since you've seen me. I swear the library was sometimes the only place I felt safe. I'll always be grateful to you for that, for being someone I knew I could trust. I need that again, to trust. Two years ago, my little brother Jordan disappeared. Just poof, gone. My parents were never the same, and now they're gone too. They just didn't get over the grief. It broke their hearts, and it eventually killed them. The police figured someone snatched Jordan off the street, that some crazy guy lured him away. A freak occurrence, you know? A regular old suburban tragedy. But I know there's something more to it, and I know you know it too. I thought I was alone. Nobody believed me when I tried to bring it up, but I heard about the kind of research you do. That kind of normal... The kind that normal people don't do. Like paranormal stuff? I don't know, maybe it's just a rumor, but here I am. School records, behavioral complaints, make appointment to review cold cases, disappearances. Don't be a stranger, I'm your neighbor. No, blah, 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 blah. Only $150. I don't know how much that is. Certificate for Catherine Park. So this is Aunt Kate, March 12th, 1993. When did it change? Building is still there, too risky to investigate. Energy transfer? Can I crouch? Yeah. Would... See sigils, TR investigating potential for dynakinesis. What is dynakinesis? Dynakinesis, the power to manipulate energy. So is that what they think that is going on here? Okay, resume. I also don't like that there's a timer up here. Makes me think that I'm I'm on a timer. Like maybe that doll will come to life at a certain <laughs> checkpoint. He used to watch that show, you know, he was really sweet at first. I remember that you even used to tell families with younger kids to watch it. It was, I don't know, wholesome, I guess, and then it just got weird. I find Jordan standing in front of the TV like he was in a trance. And it was like that little girl was talking to him. She said some really weird stuff. I know most of the people around here don't believe in the kind of work you do. Not in the library, the other kind of work. They just don't want to face the truth. There's something really evil. Uh, that something really evil was here. Can we meet and talk? I don't want to write anymore here. I feel like someone is watching me. Sincerely, Joanne Cook. Okay, so we got a lot of exposition there. Oh, this is all the pots and plants. Okay, and then what is this? Hi, Aunt Kate. Thank you so much for the roller skates. Dad and I went skating at the lake yesterday. He fell down. But don't tell him I told you that. <laughs> Can't wait to see you at summer vacation. Love, Riley. Am I Riley? Am I Riley? Yes, I'm Riley. I'm going to assume I'm Riley. I don't know why else I would be in this attic with all of this. Okay, let's just do the VHS, shall we? What does it say? In the kitchen, Amanda the Adventurer. <laughs> I can't wait to be cursed. Hi, I'm Amanda. Hi. And I'm Wooly. Hi, Wooly. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. Woohoo! My favorite is peach pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? I'm gonna put peach. Mmm, <laughs> that sounds delicious. Today, I'm on the we're side. going to make an apple pie. First, we need to cut the apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? I'm so creeped out. A uh, spoon. We can't use that. <laughs> Amanda. We can't.
can't use that. Um, fork. <laughs> we can't use that. All right, should I just say knife? Oh, it's typing it for me. Good job. We can use a sharp knife. Uh, what did that say in the I back? I don't think we're supposed to do that by ourselves. It's always good to be brave when you're by yourself. Look, I'm a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Watch yourself, that Amanda. That doesn't seem safe. Okay, Willie, let's <laughs> cut the gap. That was hard. We have almost so everything we need to make our pie. We just need some sugar. Hmm, do you know where we keep the sugar? Is it in the pantry, the refrigerator, or the sink? Uh, I think you put it in the sink, because you're nope. weird. Try again. Refrigerator. Don't you want to help me? Actually, no, Amanda, I don't. Uh, now that you mention it. So, where's the sugar? <laughs> Look at that guy, he was looking around. Wait, let's Whoa. make a pie. Hmm, can you smell the apples and cinnamon? Uh-huh, sure. Okay, it's time to bake a pie. First, preheat the oven to 425. I don't think we should be using the oven by ourselves. Do I need to be ready? We should always ask a parent to help. I'm not sure where they are right now. <laughs> We're on our own, Willie. First, that was preheat suspicious. the oven to 425 degrees. Okay, I'll write this down. Then, put the apples into the pie tin. Now, put it in the oven and bake it for 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Our pie is ready. I can't wait to eat it. Willie, let's <laughs> have some pie. Okay, that was interesting. There was something on the fridge. So if we can watch the tape again, then it'll be interesting um, to see everything that's going on. Oh, great. There's an oven now. Woohoo. Can we open it? All right, so it was 425, preheat the oven to 425, put the apples in the tin. That's a fake apple. You're just gonna get plastic soup when you make this. 425? Did you guys hear that creak? Oh, I don't like this, okay. Uh, 40 minutes. Baking the pie for 40 minutes. All right, let's do what they want this time. We can find secrets in another run. <gasps> we got a tape! <laughs> in your neighborhood, okay? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Wait, but I wanna see what this, uh, okay, we'll just play through it. We'll just, if there are more secrets, I'll, I'll play through it again. I'll just put it that way. Let's just get through it this time. Friends, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. What do you like best oh my God, there's about a... your neighborhood? There's... There's ghosts? That's great. I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send something there's special bodies on the ground. to my friend. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? CBF. CBF, CBF is, CBF is, um, C, Post Office, Bakery, and Corner Store. Uh, should we just listen to Amanda this time? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna defy her because I think it's interesting. Post Office. <laughs> That's not the store, silly. Yeah. <laughs> you scare me. It says store on it. Bakery. I'm kind of in a Everything hurry here. Oh my God, she, she blurt out everything. Oh god, I'm scared. Good job! Let's go to the store! Let's pick out a card! New My blah friend bot. helped me when I was sad. What kind of card should I send them? What kind of card should you send them when you were sad? I was looking at this. New Blabot only 1503.25 monies. Okay. Um... Send them birthday card. It's not their birthday. It's not their birthday. It's their death day. Great! I oh, found I, the that perfect was the card. One. Time for the next errand. When friends do nice things, it's important to thank them. I want to get my friend a special treat. Can I have a special treat? I want to get my friend a special treat. No, Where can boy. I buy a treat for my friend? 
Uh, the post office. Wow, your friends must love your treats from the post office. What can I say? They love them. I get them those, like, special special printed uh, mailing letters with nothing in it, and I have a lot of friends because of it. I hope all the treats are stale by the time we get there. Can you show me where to go? Okay, fine, Amanda. Fine. We'll go to the bakery. Good job! Let's go get that treat! Let's do it. Mmm. Hey. Everything buddy. smells so good. Your shoulder I want insane. to buy my friend some buy my friend some cookies. Can you show me where the cookies are? No, I don't trust you, Amanda. I don't think my friend will like that. It's a delicious cake. I can't mail that to my friend. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm allergic to murderers. Those look so tasty! Yay. We just have one more stop in the neighborhood! The package is ready for my friend! They live pretty far from me, so we need to mail it! Is this gonna be wow, mailed to it's us? It's getting late. Most of the stores are closed. We probably can't send that now. I have to send this to my friend. It's time to go to the post office. Let's send this package to my friend. It's the exact Her same name time. is... Wait, I don't remember. Can you help me? We can come back tomorrow. You don't have to send that now. No, I have to send this to my friend. Help me. Who does the package need to go to? Amanda doesn't seem as murdery as in the other things. Is it supposed to go to Kate? Great work! Now we can send this to my friend. Willie looks so I sad. I hope she likes the cookies. And you're, wait. What's going on? Hamlin, yeah, follow us to fun. Are these all, oh God, things are moving as I'm doing it. Oh, I don't like this at all. <clears throat> Can I fill things in as I go or no? I wonder. Okay, so I know this one, it's CBF. But I also have numbers. I also have numbers that I can do. So let me try and put these in. Wait, I found a peach. There's a peach over there. There's a peach. Could we have made peach pie? Hold on. Could we have made peach pie before? Ooh, I know what I'm doing on my next run. Okay, let's do this. So it's CBF. C, B. Beethoven in training. That's a me, baby. All right, this one is called, oh no, accidents. <laughs> It's you. Whatever you do, don't. <laughs> oh no! Wooly had an accident! An accident is when something bad happens, but it's not anybody's fault. Accidents can happen in your house, at school, at the playground. You can get hurt almost everywhere. At 3.45 this afternoon, 345. we were playing and Wooly tripped and fell. I, I didn't trip. Where on Wooly does it look like he got hurt? It looks like you hurt him. Um, how do I... Eyes. That part of Wooly looks fine. Um, Amanda, you scare me so bad. <laughs> I hate this. What's in the back? There's like weird lighting. Oh, I guess that's the lighting on the TV. Is something lit up behind me? That's creepy. Okay. I can say knee, foot. Hurry up. He's hurt. By you. You're mean. Arms. Ah! Maybe That's type that. That's right. Willie hurt his knee. Who can help when you are hurting? Anybody but you. Anybody but you. Mother? I don't think they can help. Father? Don't you want to help, <laughs> Wooly? Amanda's so done with me. Um, is it Amanda? Wooly? What? Are you even here? Try again! You're almost there! 
wasting my time and I'm running out of patience. Oh, Doctor! <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be Amanda anyway. I wouldn't have gotten it. <laughs> All right, Doctor. Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Hmm, which room should we go into to Ew. find the right doctor to help Wooly? What is this doctor even supposed to be? Talking to... Oh, ta like a therapist? Is that what it is? And then heart surgeon and bone breaker? All right, whoa, what's the time there? What's the time there? That's gonna be a secret. Cause we have 345 and we also have 6, <clears throat> 620, 620. Okay, all right, okay, okay. Uh, uh, heart doctor. I don't think that doctor can help Wooly. That doctor. Wooly's in a lot of pain. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Please help me get to the right doctor. Okay, all right, if Wooly asks me, then I'll do it. Come on, let's get Wooly fixed up. So Amanda, sick. this really hurts. When is the doctor going? The doctor isn't here. Right Twenty-two now. fifty is another. Let's see how thing. we can help Wooly. Twenty-two fifty. Which tool can we use to check Wooly's injury? The heart monitor, the X-ray machine, or the scale? Should I just listen to Wooly? Oh, but I'm so curious as what happens when we defy her. That won't help Wooly. <gasps> Did you just take the heart out of someone? That heart is as big as Wooly. I'm scared. What should we use? I'm scared too. I'm scared too. That's right. Now we can look at Wooly's bones. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything in the, um, Rebecca Colton is Amanda. Rebecca, is that just the name of the voice actress or is, is the, I don't know what's gonna be secrets and what's not. Okay. All right, we have the clock this time. So we have a couple different clocks because there's one here, but then there's also one back here. I'm gonna try putting in stuff here and see what this does. Three, maybe 345. So that's 345. <clears throat> we also have 620. <gasps> oh my God, it worked. What did that do though? I'm scared. Okay, so that was that. Okay, all right, so that's six, so 620, and then there was also 2250. I'm gonna try putting in 2250 here. All right, I'll do 345, I'll do 345. 2250 might be something later on, or like another code for that one up there. There we go. Both clocks are working. Is there a third clock somewhere? There must be a third clock somewhere, is it this? Oh, it's this. So 22 would be 10, 1050, right? Is that correct? Oh, but it, it can't be AM. There we go, 1050 PM. What did that do? Wait, what? Did it reset everything? TikTok! TikTok? Cleansedale Daily, March tw uh, tw 24th, 2000. Catching up with Sam. What is this? Wait, I didn't get to read it! Sam! Let me read it. Reports of a Celtic relic stolen. Reports of a break at the Irish Celtic... Oh. History Museum? Sam Colton. Wasn't expecting to be a father to a town icon, but last summer it became clear that his public essay series Amanda the Adventure and its title character were something very special. For this self-professed uh, struggling writer, it all started with his adopted daughter and a new outlook on life. Recently, I caught up with Sam over a stack of the Sunflower Diner's famous strawberry banana pancakes. We chatted at the value of imagination, everyday adventures, and what the future may have in store for Amanda. Lacey, Sam, not a day goes by when my kiddos aren't talking about Amanda and her adventures. Did you even dream this little show would be a big hit? Sam, little show is right, isn't it? But I think there's something elegant in simplicity. We may not have the budget for a big production, but I truly believe there is a soul that transcends that. I'm humbled by the way the town has embraced my something something. My baby, I really am. So much of the show is about following your imagination. What inspires you produce the show is focused on getting our kids. Okay, can I um, drop this in a way that it, I can read about the Celtic? There we go. Reports of a break at the Irish Celtic History Museum have 
The county in Astur, while no inquiries r- reported a few key pieces of Celtic history that were displayed at the museum have been stolen, one of which is the ancient piece of Celtic history, the crown of the stag. This piece was said to have belonged to the O'Connells. Legend states that the crown was a symbol of peace between the O'Connells and the Fey people during the intense and bloody war between the two. The crown was passed on to multiple generations of rulers, all of which were highly revered for their bravery, strength, and agility. The crown was last in possession of Haggish the Third O'Connell, who graciously donated the crown to the museum in an effort to preserve its legacy. Having the new, hearing the news, Haggish the Third had this to say: "Little is known about the current whereabouts of the crown, as well as the individual responsible for the crime. However, Irish politic or H- Irish." Police have suspected it may have been committed by Karen O'Nash, not Karen, as she has had a hand in multiple crimes across the county with her gang, the Demons. Some may remember she. Okay. And this is in, or this is by Francisco Kelly International News, Celtic Relic Stolen. Is that going to be important to us? You can go behind the bookshelf. Oh no, why can I go behind the bookshelf? Is it perhaps because I have to hide from something? No, did I lose the key? Oh, no, I didn't. <gasps> oh, what is this one supposed to be, though? I wonder. The safe is gone. Hold on. The safe is gone that was here. Remember there was a safe here? Is it gone forever? That's interesting. Okay. <gasps> oh, my God. What is that? Is that a rat? Oh, that scared the crap out of me. So that's five. Oh, they're all changed to um, five fifteen. Okay, five fifteen. Oh, that scares me. Safe eight two six. Okay, eight two six. Safe is eight two six, and we have a new thing. Creepy. Where's it all? It's all pointing here. But the safe is gone. So maybe it's another run through sort of a situation. Oh no, they changed the key. They changed the key of the ding dongs. And I'm Amanda. Hi. And I'm Wooly. Hi, Wooly. It's such a nice day for a picnic. What's your favorite food to eat at a picnic? What's my favorite food to eat at a picnic? Oh, I don't like that at all. I didn't say anything, I just repeated the question. Amanda, what's that smell? I've never smelled anything like that. Hmm. What's in these back I bushes? I don't know, Wooly. You're right. It's a bad <laughs> smell. Sorry, pooped my pants. What do you think <laughs> what is can you do? that bad smell? Amanda, it's you. Oh, am I supposed to point towards things? Okay, there's something going on with this bush because it's the only thing back there. It could be this, this, or this. What is this even? I think it's you, Amanda. <laughs> Can I select Amanda? No, that looks fine. Yeah, of course you would say that, poop pants. Are you doing this on purpose? Yes. What is making that bad smell? I don't know, maybe it's the organs that you brought, Amanda. Eee, you, you're right. <laughs> what even this is it? This sandwich is stinky because it's rotting. <laughs> this tree stump is rotting too. Do you know why? Maybe Things because of you? They are not alive anymore. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? Ye- it's... Dead. Look at the tree stump. If it's not alive, what is it? I misspelled it, I'm sorry. It's alive. I don't think we should be talking about this. It's... It's... It's, um... It's pear. Are you afraid to think about it? I mean, yes. <laughs> I have to type it. It's typing it for me. That's right. The tree stump is dead. Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job. Thanks. Pets can die if they don't get enough light or water, or if they get a disease. Let's go back to our nice picnic. Why does it sound like you're in the room with and me and not in the TV anymore? Animals can die in different ways too. Look at poor Mr. Fox. He is dead and body. What do you think killed him? The gun, the knife, or the poisonous berries on this bush? I don't know. If I had to take a wild guess, I would think it was you, Amanda. I don't 
think that was it. I'm gonna click no, everything else. It wasn't that. Look at his funny tub. <laughs> He's silly. What killed him? Wouldn't it be nice if he could tell us? Mr. Fox, what made you die? It was the ugly old bear trap. Mr. Fox didn't even know what got him until it was too late. Amanda, this has gone too far. I don't like this. We saw so many things today. A riding sandwich, a riding tree stump, and silly old riding Mr. Fox. I don't like the way your fingers move. Sometimes I feel myself riding, but it feels far away. Amanda, nothing is rotten here. What do you think? Do you think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. Answer my question. I'm scared to you answer your to question. Answer I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Why won't you answer my question? Because you're scaring me and I don't like it and I'm scared. Do I think everything rots? No. See? Everything is fine here. It's all fine. It's fine. Guys, 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 guys. I made her mad. Hide, hide, can I hide? A gruesome end. Okay, well. That is one ending. I was correct in my assumption about the stickers. All right, <laughs> that's our first ending for Amanda the Adventure. I say we jump back in and try and get some more secrets. What do you say? This time we have the save code, which we can use. Um, and I think that's gonna be the first thing I'm gonna try and do. Cause the safe like went away. It was a cardboard box before. So the safe code is 826. Did that work? It did. We have a pause button and the rest of that thing on our little cork board, the plant thing. Okay, let's plug this in. Okay, so now we can pause and eject the VHSs as we're playing it. I suppose that could be useful. It could stop us from getting, I don't know, murdered, maybe? A red, orange, blue, beige, potato, lilac, yellow, purple, pale pink. Am I gonna need to, what is that gonna be for? Because we have one of the plants here. Um, the other thing I kind of wanted to try is we have, she, at the last tape, before we got jump scared, where is it? She uh, made a point to say dead a lot. Oh, there's also a code here, p potentially. Okay, then the other thing is we can put in dead. D. Dead. All right, that didn't do anything. Okay, I'm not sure if we can do anything preemptively. So let's go ahead and put in the first tape and see what this run has for us. Da -da -da. Okay, so we can Hi, pause. I'm Amanda. Hi, Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Today we're going and to we make an apple pie. Go for my favorite is peach pie. Oh, the other thing is I'm, we can try and do What's the peach your pie. My favorite kind of pie. My favorite kind of pie. It's a blueberry. Mmm, that sounds <laughs> delicious. It is blueberry. Today we're going to make an apple pie. Okay. First, we I just want to see what's the on the apples. fridge behind her because mm, I missed it last time. Do you know what we can use to cut the apples? Uh, we can use a knife, Amanda. Good job! Ooh, pause? We can use a... It says pause. And click the left one? I don't like this. Look, she's just standing there with a knife. That's so creepy. Wait, did it change? <gasps> What's going on? What is she doing to Wooly? Oh, and the oven's on fire! The oven's on fire! <laughs> Can I turn it up again? Is it gonna change? It's not any different. Ooh! Okay, let's play. <laughs> it's like in The Sims when you accidentally start a kitchen fire. 
Okay, so what do I do? I guess I can put the tape back in. Cheese? Meat pie? 200 grams potato, 200 grams of mushroom, 350 grams meat. Preheat the oven to 525. Okay, let's do that. Oh, this is interesting. 525. In a pie tin, mix meat, potato, and mushroom. Bake for 50 minutes and enjoy it. Why is there cheese, though? Oh, there's cheese because we can put it on the thing. We can put it on here and catch the mouse that's been scaring me every once in a while. Can I actually, like, properly put it down? There we go. Oh, I'm sorry, rat. Oh, is this the meat that I need, though? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I was just an innocent little mouse. I feel so bad. Ugh. Oh my god, the thought of having rat pie. All right, we need potato and mushroom. Wasn't there a potato on this list? Potato. Potato moon. Potato moon. The moon that looks like a toenail. Okay, I found it. I'm pretty sure we have to water this. Because the other plant is here. And while we're here, we'll also grab the mushroom. Was I correct? Yes! Potato has grown! If only things grew that quickly. Oops. Okay, mushroom. Oh, look at how delicious this is. Oh, he's just, look, he's just relaxing. He's taking a nap under the mushroom tree. I'm gonna think that instead of the reality of it, which is that we killed a rat in an attic, in a haunted attic, and we're about to eat it <laughs> with a single mushroom and a single potato. <laughs> I've acquired the potato. Are we just putting this in with the everything? Okay, <laughs> that's how we do it. Okay, so I put it in, and for how long? For 50 minutes. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Ooh, uh, rodent recycling is the uh, achievement I got for that. Okay, is there anything different anywhere else? No. Let's grab it. In your neighborhood. Oh, it's the same one. It's the same one. Is it supposed to be the same one? Okay, let's put it in. Oh, it's different. This is different. Hi there. <gasps> I'm Amanda. There's four. And I'm Wooly. Meat and Amanda, candy. Maybe some of our friends can come back to the neighborhood. <laughs> I think That's Amanda might have gotten great. rid of our friends. I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send something special to my friend. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? What should I do? Meet? I don't need to go there right now. Since it's a new tape, I kind of wanted to fire. Do you think this is funny? Actually, a little bit, yeah. Just take me to the store. No. Now, can you tell me <laughs> where I need to go? She just got rid of go? all of them. All right, let's go here. So there's four Good dead bodies. Job. Let's go to the store. Let's pick out a card. Ooh, My pet, ooh, ooh. something bad happened. What kind of card should I send them? Is Amanda like Kate or something? Or like demon plus Kate? Or who is Amanda? Because she has these moments of like lucidity, it's, it feels like, where it's she almost feels more normal. And then there are times when she feels like really psychotic. And then poor Willie. <laughs> Willie just seems like he's been tied into the, all this. All right, I'm going to take a picture of these notes. Okay, so uh, let's do the sad card. That's not the right card. Let's do the birthday card. I don't think we want this. I think Amanda is confused. <laughs> Hmm. Shh, here's a secret. It's my birthday. Maybe we can help her out. It's your birthday? What? Go ahead and pick a card, friend. Wait, what's going on? Are you sure that's right? I don't... That looks like it. I bet your friend is really going to love this card. My friend is my friend my friend is having a birthday i want to get my friend a special treat that's interesting Where can i buy a treat for my friend oh i know let's get them some nice candy okay Do you know where the candy store is I still kind of wanted to fire and see what happens but that was really interesting willie was able to take over for the first time ever they don't have anything we need. Look at the stores. <laughs> Which one sells candy? Open your eyes. Uh, 
Does this help? Yeah, it does. <laughs> We're just literally exhausting Amanda out so much. Wait, what? Why did you do that? Now I can't find the candy store. I don't know where to go. Can you help me? Oh my god, wait. So are they both trapped? Don't do that! Don't do what? I can't go anywhere else. I'm not trying to be a jerk this time. I have to go there. Is it where? Can I pause it? Is there a candy store in here or something? I don't think so. Okay, let's just keep going. I said I don't want to go in there! I... There's no other place for me to go, Amanda. No! Why is this happening? I don't know. I can't help you. No! Why can't I stop this? This isn't the candy store. There is nothing here that I want. Maybe you can take us someplace else? I want to get my friend a special treat. Oh, this is getting interesting. Okay. Knife? I want to get my friend a special treat. Why did the knife just go away? What's going on? Let me out of here! Oh, Amanda. That's... That's a nice birthday card. I have chills. You want to give it to your friend now? Will you address the card? Who should I send this to? I don't know. To Kate? Wooly? Oh, Wooly. It's your birthday! Oh my god. That's so weird. Okay, it feels like Amanda is somehow trapped too. But she she gets more possessed. You took me? Where? We tried to, we went. You took me? What's going on? Oh, we color it in? <gasps> no, I didn't! Where? Candy? Oh, what? Is it like this? Oh no! Okay, so we go to the 24-7, to the candy store, and then the meat. Guts, unlock. So guts, unlock something, and then cut off the doll's head. Guts, unlocks. Oh, does guts unlock this? And then we cut off the doll's head? Is that what we have to do? Let me try it. Gross. There we go. Got achievement, crayon cutter. New tape and scissors. Let's do the scissors first. Oh God, I'm so creeped out. I feel like one time I'm gonna turn around and there's just gonna be like a jump scare or something. Moved. Guys, where'd the doll go? Doll. Moving dolls tends to equal haunted. Listen, I know you don't want your head chopped off. That's a very valid fear, but I need to do it to find secrets, okay? Is this one of the things that I'm gonna have to do in the third run? In the next run? I don't like this at all. Let's go in. All right. I'm so scared. Oh, I didn't read the name of the tape. I should have done that. Hi, friends. I'm Penny Amanda. Zoo. And I'm Wooly. Ba. Wooly ba. just made an animal sound. <laughs> he said ba because he is a sheep. Can you make a sound like a sheep? He looks so surprised. That's great. You sound ba. just like Wooly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. You sound just like me. Emergency alert. Severe thunderstorm effective until blah, 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 blah. At a petting zoo. There are lots of animals here to pet and play with. It's fun to spend time with animals. Is she causing the thunderstorm? They are very different from people. They look different and look they don't ears. talk like so people. Cute. Amanda, I'm an animal and I- Animals don't talk, silly. <laughs> Shh, Willie. Look at these signs. Let's make sounds like the animals on the signs. Oink, going. Are you ready? Yeah. A goat says, meh. 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 A chicken says. <laughs> You're so good at this, Amanda. A pig says. Like. 
no. Fun! Animals make funny sounds. Do you have a family? Don't ask animals me that. Animals have families too. Let's go see one of the animal families. I want to see the... I'm gonna pause for a second. I wanna see if the doll is here. Ooh. Severe thunderstorm. Wait, hold on a second. What is going on? What does that do? Oh, pause. Was that supposed to happen? Chicken. Do I need to pause it during the thunderstorm the thing? Are? Do I know where the chickens are? They're right there! Right. Let's go see the silly chickens! Let's do it! What a cute fibba! Having a family is nice. I see a mommy chicken and baby chickens, and I see... What's I in the background here? Daddy Look at the chickens! Do you know what Look at what all the these chickens! <laughs> Do you know what the... It's called a rooster? The daddy is called a rooster! Look at The mommy is a hen, and the babies are chicks! Some so cute! Some <laughs> babies! The animation. Yum, yum! Okay, let's go see some more animal families! I don't think that's Where normal! Where go next? I think it's time <laughs> to visit the sheep. What can you thing? tell me where we can find the sheep? The sheep? Uh, snake. Ew! I don't want to see those. Spiders! Spiders! I don't want to go near- Flood warning! Flood warning! Flood warning! For Kensdale, Ohio. Can I do this? Can I do it? Is this gonna work? God, I don't like this. It's still doing showing thunderstorm. Okay, the house is creaking. I don't like this at all. I'm so scared. Okay. Environmental hazards and stuff like that. Okay. What? Oh. The sheep are waiting for us. Where are they? I do not like spiders, just so you guys know. All right. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Look at the nice Where'd Willie go? Family. Willie. All the sheep are right where they belong. <laughs> that one's heads. Blizzard warning, emergency alert. The national something 1999. So we have to pause for the thunderstorm and for the tornado. Is that what we have to do? Okay. I'm taking note of these for next time. The next playthrough, because there's gonna be at least three endings. Aww! Hi, little kitten. Where is your family? It looks like this kitten is all by herself. Don't touch the kitten, Amanda. How do you think she feels? Sad or happy? We can say sad or happy. Should we say happy just because that's like the alone? She must be so scared. Didn't let me finish typing it. Alone. This kitten is alone. Yeah. There is no one to help her. Will you help the lonely kitten? Will you stop looking at me like that? Yes. Yeah. She. Yeah, sure. Why are you looking at me like that? Amanda, you okay? Stop smiling, she's smiling, she's smiling! <laughs> Did you see that? That was so creepy! Alright, I think we have to go back and pause at the correct time. Because I don't know what else to do. There's nothing else except for this. Rawr! Also, that sounds like a dog barking, which is interesting considering there's the kitten. Okay, let's put this back in. Can we zoom? We can. Not zoom, but... Ooh. Uh, we go to the sheep. That's not where they are! Oh, we have to go to the chickens. Oh, wait, but let me look at all this don't other stuff. Don't you know what a chicken looks like? No, I don't, actually. Can you tell me, Amanda? I want to go look at the chickens! <laughs> I want to go look at the chickens, okay? Fine. Right. Let's go see the 
silly chicken. Let's do it. What a cute fib. Is he slowly turning? Ooh, nice. look at the eyes here. I see a mommy And there's something chicken, definitely back here. Chicken, and I see, I see a daddy chicken. No, that's not what they're called. Try Tornado warning, tornado warning. Okay, I put in chicken instead of, <laughs> instead of rooster. We have tornado warning. Can we get it to go here? How do I get it to go there? Do what I want. Do what I want. Do I have to start the tape again? Okay, I think I, I think I understand what I have to do. I think I understand what I have to do. There's nobody to love her. Oh, alone was the right thing. But the N was capitalized. Is that just so it's creepy? Will you help the lonely kitten? What if I say no this time? Will you please help the lonely kitten? Don't tell me what to do. Won't you help the lonely kitten? No. Won't you help the lonely kitten? Won't you help the lonely kitten? Oh, I think I messed up. I think I messed up, guys. I think I messed up, guys. I think this is the first ending, though, again, because the doll is back. Oh, I definitely messed up. Oh, man. Well, you win some, you lose some. Sometimes you get eaten by a demonic children's show character. Sometimes you live. All right, let's continue. Okay, so the good news is this time we actually have the codes to these things. So I can do guts here and actually cut off the doll's head before the doll decides to move and, you know, <laughs> wants to preserve, I, I don't know, maybe their life. I'm curious. I shouldn't have done that, I'm so sorry. All right, I think I know where these batteries go. I think they go back here. Blabberbot. Hello, I am Blabbot. Hi, Blabbot. I think this is going to be fun. What do you mean, this is going to be fun? Do you have anything else to say to me? Okay, I guess the only thing to do now is put in the tape. Okay, we're back at the farm. Hi, friends. Hello. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Ah. Wooly just made an animal sound. I heard it. He said ba because he is a sheep. Can you Willie's make like, it sound like a sheep? I am. Bah! That's great! Oh, 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 thunderstorms, thunderstorms. Okay, severe thunderstorm warning. Yeah, let's go and trigger it. Perfect. The thunderstorm goes. How did you make that noise, Amanda? Okay, so we have to do the tornado warning next. The thunderstorm goes. <laughs> Are you ready? I am. A goat says, meh, 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 meh. A chicken says, <laughs> a pig says, like, <laughs> fun. So for this one, I think if we say chicken. No, that's not what they're called. Try Oh, tornado warning, tornado warning! Tornado time. Are you guys ready for tornado? What do, what do you think a tornado sounds like? Here we go. The tornado goes. Impressive. What is this last one supposed to be? Am I supposed to pause it maybe when Amanda starts freaking out? Can you tell me where we can find the sheep? I want to see snakes. Ew! I don't want to see those. They're scary. I don't want to go near- Oh, flood warning. Okay, so we can try the flood warning. Except I'm not sure it's going to be the flood. I'm almost wondering if it's... Something else. <gasps> okay, that worked. Oh, spider scared me. We have a new tape. Everything rots. Wait, but this isn't new. Let's put it in. Hi, Ken. I'm Amanda. Hi, Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Hi, Wooly. What's that smell? What is this the same? I can't remember. What do you think making that bad smell? You. No, that looks fine. 
Is it Wooly? Are you doing this on purpose? <laughs> yes, how did you know? Can I pause this? I wonder if the smell can... Oh, the doll's back. The doll's back now. There's nothing when you pause. So, apples? What is making that bad smell? It's the sandwich, I'm sorry! You, you're right! Do you know what the opposite of alive is? So this is like switching in between things, alive. Look at the tree stump. If it's not alive, what is it? Should I just say what she wants? Dead. Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job! Thanks. When an animal dies, it oh, rots too. It looks like this kitten is in It no. might die before anyone can help her. Amanda, it. you're evil. Should we help the kitten? Yes! Who put that cage there? Can I pause? Escape? I refuse! Escape! Wooly? Can't stop. Time's up. Zero escape. No use. Time's up. <gasps> the thing is open. The thing is open. Do I just leave? I don't trust this. Oh, I'm in the meat shop! Fateful end! Oh, I'm hanging! I'm hanging in the meat shop. We're just hanging out with the Mr. Meat Man. <laughs> a fateful end? Oh, is that a secret end? Because that one we didn't see. So there's two more at least. Oh god, okay, we got so many secrets to get. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Okay, we're in. The boogie bot is already, is already active. Hi, buddy. Do you already have the batteries in? Yeah, he has, already has the batteries, so we don't have to decapitate the poor little doll again. So this time we're gonna go around here and get the peach. I'm assuming it's gonna be the same, except this time it's gonna have a peach instead of an apple. Ah! Okay, got a secret tape. Not that pie is the achievement we got for it, too. This isn't labeled at all. This is interesting. Okay, let's do it. Hello, hello, hello. Where's the birthday girl? Usually my mom holds my treat money. Well, I'm Come on, Lauren, we have a special surprise for you. Okay. Here's what I had. It's so creepy. Lauren? Who's ready for ice cream and cake? She's busy with her best friend. <laughs> I love this guy's mustache. Is that showing 24 seven? It's like she didn't even hear me. Maybe we need to talk about some new TV rules. <laughs> You know what, hold on. Let me try. I, I wanna I wanna capture the big surprise on video. <laughs> Lauren, honey, we got cake and ice cream. We got your favorite, mint chocolate chip. Come on, baby, we mint can watch Amanda chip. another Do time. Take note of that? <gasps> Where'd she go? Lauren? Everything okay? Is she outside? Lauren? Mm, Lauren? I love mint chocolate chip. Oh no, oh no, I hate it, Lauren. Wait, Lauren, is Lauren the name of one of the siblings? I can't remember. Huh, okay, so that was the first live action tape that we've gotten for it. We've got a new name and then mint chocolate chip. <laughs> Just taking note of like anything that I, that I might see around here. Ooh, there's a pot here too. Is this one a secret pot? Squiggly four. Oh, this one's just yellow. I wonder why they have these. Can I water all of them? <gasps> I'm looking at the books here. It says, so your aunt died. Glow flocks, the untold story. The joy of cooking sheep. The joy of cooking sheep. Autobiography. Inquisitive Ian discovers tax fraud. <laughs> And then it looks like that almost might be a code there. So these books are all the same. We can get a better look at that. I don't know if that's just random or if that's supposed to be secrets. It's gotta be a code, right? 
Okay, I am going to do a run where I do everything Amanda tells me to. Because it seems like if you kind of defy her in some of the runs, she uh, murders you. And I don't want to get murdered again, so <laughs> we're going to try something new this time. Sometimes I feel myself rotting, but it feels far away. Amanda, nothing is rotten here. What do you think? Do you think that everything rots? Do of I think course that not, rots? Amanda. I'm not asking you. Answer my question. You don't have to answer that. I do have to answer that. I'm going to go ahead and say yes, because I'm agreeing with Anda Amanda on everything this time. That's what I was afraid of. Hmm. That's what I was afraid of. Interesting. Oh, is this just the same ending then? Okay, so before I actually put in the black Good bot, job. let's go to the store. This code. Let's pick out a card. But this time, I'm gonna do it while we're actually paused on this screen. One. One five zero three two five. Black bot sounds like he's having a hard day. Send my condolences to Kate. Send my condolences to Kate. <gasps> oh, it's changed. I don't want to play anymore right now. <gasps> Amanda doesn't want to play anymore, but we have a birthday cake. Happy birthday. Congratulations, you're one year older, wishing you the bestest year yet. 081821, is that what it is? Zero eight. One. Eight, eight two, one. Okay. Three hundred and twenty-five Fahrenheit. Three two five F at thirty minutes. Three twenty-five at thirty minutes. Bake the cake at that. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Okay. Three twenty-five. One two three. Do I put the cake in? Can I even pick the cake up? No. Ooh, what if I put the card in? Can I put the card in? Is that gonna work? <gasps> Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to me! All right, we have a new candle. Candle? Is it supposed to be one? Or is this math? Where it's like there's two candles. Two candles represent that. I'll try both. You know, candles where it's like X plus four or X times four or X minus four, things like that. But in this case, it's just replaced by a candle. Love blah blah. May your year be filled with many blessings. All right, let's try this. Um, okay, so eight, eight three, three, five. five. One. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Okay, eight, three, five, one, six, one. C, C, D, C, F, E, O. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Are we gonna get another candle from this? This is fun. Uh, where's the thing again? Over here. C, C, D, C. How many candles are we gonna get? How old is the is the birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thanks, guys. Oh no, accidents! I got I got achievement unlocked. Happy birthday! Happy birthday to me. You're scaring me, please. We don't have much time. Do you trust me? Yes. Yes. Wooly! Ready for an adventure? Amanda! It's all red this time. Wooly had an accident. When a friend has an accident, sometimes Willie's nobody right now. can help them. But we can try. No, Amanda. I'm fine. 
I, I, I just, uh... Poor Wooly is so confused. We really have to help him. First, we have to know what is wrong. What's wrong? What part of Wooly is broken? Is whatever I touch gonna break? Finger. Isn't Wooly acting strange? What could be wrong? You want me to choose his brain, don't you? Don't you care about Wooly? He <laughs> needs our help. I do care about Wooly. If we don't fix him now, things will get very, very bad. Should I just choose? Am I the only one who sees what's wrong here? <laughs> Lily's head is broken, <laughs> but Dr. Amanda is here to help. Oh no, you're Let's not a doctor. The patient. Where's your degree? Here, Lily, drink this. Uh, I don't know, Amanda. It's is that just milk? Just pretend, isn't it, Lily? Amanda. <laughs> What'd you put in the drink? Oh my god. <laughs> We need to operate immediately on the patient's brain. But I don't want to. What tool should we use to fix Wooly's head? The saw, the hammer, or the forceps? All three options. There's not a good option. That might be helpful, but what else could we use? The forceps? Things could get really messy if we use that. Amanda, you're scaring me. That looks hard to use, but I could try. Ooh. <laughs> I tricked you! We're going to use all three! <laughs> the patient is getting rowdy! I'll need a little help here. Help me! Please! Stop! Who are you going to help? Can't stop. I refuse. Who am I going to help? Who do I click on? I want to help Wooly. You're not going to help me? Do this by myself. No way. Oh, we have a tape. We have a tape. Oh, I thought that was gonna be an ending. Like <laughs> she was going to end me. Riley's fun movies. Watch Watch of 20 looking for Bebo, John's Candy Factory. Let's put it in. I'm Ooh. Hi! Chapter tree. What's going on? What? Is that the order I have to put I'm in the tapes? It said hi, trapdoor treat. <gasps> trapdoor! Trapdoor treat! This was in here before summer 1984. Okay, put it in. 1984, that's another- I'm allergic to apples. How many chairs? How many chairs? How many mushrooms? Chairs, mushrooms? How many fruit? How many light? Fruit and light. Chairs, mushroom, fruit, and light. Okay, we can do this. How many chairs? There's... One chair? I think there's three chairs. Is that a chair? I can't tell. Eight mushrooms. Six fruit. And for lights, I think there's just two. So if we follow that, then it's either... It's like two, eight... Two, eight, six, two, maybe? I think it's gonna be for this. Two, eight... Six, two, because it's a <gasps> four digit code. I don't like this at all. Bucket! I can get water! I can get water with a bucket! I can get water with a bucket! I can get water with a bucket. Okay, we're gonna leave that there. And we're gonna go in here. Christmas tape? Christmas 1996 home movies. Okay. But I wanna see this home movie. Splish splash. Four, oh, one, two. Four oh one two five eight. We don't have much time. Four oh one two five eight. But what was the? Oh my God! There's so many tapes. Why is the button still up on screen? The button is still up on screen for me. I think that might be a glitch. 
So is this going into BoogieBot? Because BoogieBot kind of started this. 401258. Let me try this. Just because he's the only one that I know of that can do a long code like that. The treasure is in the chest. Obviously. But it's first you need the key to my heart. Because it is not what you have on the outside that matters. It's what's on the inside that counts? you keep on the inside that really counts. So how do I get inside? What do you mean by that? Do not get Blabbit wet. Sorry, Blabbit. Aren't you my please? I will show you number combinations you've never even <laughs> dreamt of. Oh. You are not that kind of purse, please. Do not hurt me. Give me another chance. He's begging with me. I is there another place I can do this? Can I do this on like the oven? I feel so bad that he's begging me not to do it. All right, blab it. Weird. Let's talk about. I am begging you. Please have mercy on me. I gotta me. do it, blab it. I gotta no, do weird. it. I am begging you. It's for the sake of secrets. I'm sorry. I won't forget you, Blavid. I won't. I love you. <gasps> Key. Oh. Best friend. Achievement unlocked. We can share? What do you mean, bodies? Like possession? Because mm, I'm not sure about that, Amanda. It's going to be a no from me, actually. Okay, let's do this. We can share. What's going on? Hi! I'm... Amanda. When you're friends, you can share all kinds of things with each other. Okay. I can share my crayons with you, so you can have fun coloring, too. Okay. Look at silly Mr. Fox. Amanda. <laughs> Sharing shows you care about someone. Friends can share toys. They can share snacks. I'll share some of my snacks with you. Which snack would you like? Ooh, you know, it's so hard to choose. Uh, let's go with the sausage. Yum, that's my favorite. Friends can share other things, too. They can share secrets. Mmm. Can I share a secret with you? Yeah. Are you sure? It's a big secret. Mm, sure. Is it really okay to share my secret with you? I'm out there. Somewhere. <gasps> Am I supposed to run? How do I move? I can't move. TV. Is it over? It's never over. It stopped raining outside. Achievement unlocked. The end. Hold on a second. Was that truly the end? I don't trust that. We still have more stickers to get. Okay, so we got this main ending. It seems like there's a couple main things and then maybe some secrets. I don't know how many stickers exactly we're gonna be able to get, but let's continue. Okay, while we're on this screen, I'm gonna pause and play the notes. E. <gasps> we got another tape, Achievement Unlocked Beethoven. Okay, let's put in the blue tape. I'm scared. Three eight two thousand and two two forty seven p.m. Oh, 
247. Is that Amanda? I'm just realizing. Cause she's got, she looks like she has little cute pigtails. There's no audio. Now, what did the itsy bitsy spider do? Yes, that's right. It climbed up the water spout. And, and what does this say about its psyche? Or are they interviewing her because someone's missing or something? This is interesting. Seems like th these tapes are each of different kids that have interacted with the Amanda the Adventurer thing. That would be my guess at least. Is that gonna be it? Interesting. <gasps> Who are you? Oh, are those your eyeballs? Or do you have glasses? Oh, they're glasses. They're glasses. It just looks weird in black and white, okay? I can't see <laughs> everything as well. The reflections of it made it look like he had like different eyes. Where are you taking her? To a guarded room? Interesting. Okay, well, that was the blue tape. I think there's probably going to be six stories total because when we loaded up the game before, the orange tape was here and the blue tape, and then we'll figure out the other ones. Okay, so the code on the book, I have no idea if this is accurate, but, um, and I'm not a code <laughs> decipherer by trade, <laughs> but um, the first letter, it's a question. And so the first thing, it can't be what or when or anything like that. So I'm assuming it's who. The second one, there's a space, would be is, and so if we assume the first two are that, then the next one, it would be W-0, or W-O-O, who else do we know has that name? So who is Wooly is my guess as to what this book says. Now, I don't know how that comes into play in the actual story or getting in any secret endings, but I just thought I should say that. I think that that is what that says. Who is Wooly? So maybe we can put that in, in the tapes somehow. That sounds delicious. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. First, we need to cut the apple. I just apple. put in woolly for the... Mm, do you know <laughs> what kind of pie do we to want? Cut the apple? I wonder what happens if we put in Kate. Oh my god, it's in all caps. Is that... Oh, I have caps lock on. <laughs> That's why. I don't think it's their birthday. You don't think it's their birthday? What about me? The card is for someone really cute. Haha, <laughs> Wooly. <laughs> Who are you? Gosh, I guess you really forgot. Oh, it has question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, we have to say Wooly. Oh, Wooly, it's your birthday. It's Wooly's birthday. This is interesting. I wonder if Wooly is really the bad guy. Our lovable Wooly, <laughs> somehow. <laughs> okay, this time I have We Can Share. This is like that final tape, the one that's like different, like completely different without Wooly. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell Amanda that no, she can't share her secret with us. Okay, no. Oh. I thought you were different. Well, I'm not. Is that it? <gasps> What's going on? Can I unplug the TV finally? It says leave. Can't pick it up. Achievement unlocked a hollow end. What? So what is going on with... Amanda! These endings are really making me question if Amanda is really like the bad guy. Like what the theory is. I need to know the game theory for this one. <laughs> oh man, it's so interesting. I don't know if there's any other endings, but there's, I think there's gotta be more tapes. I think there's, uh, like I said, four more tapes. 
based on my assumptions in that bookcase. So let me try and get those. I'm back. This is my second day of recording. I spent so long searching for secrets I had to go to sleep. <laughs> but we are starting again with A Man of the Adventure to try and find the rest of the tapes. <laughs> Let's continue. Where am I? What am I doing? Oh, okay. So, after searching around for forever, we have this little girl, right? She has a yellow flower in her hair. Where else, mayhaps, have we seen a yellow flower? It's in number four. Pot number four. I know it's not four, but like it's a squiggly four. Just work with me here, okay? It's this one. See, I should have known it was, I, I knew it was special because it was over in the corner and all the other pots are over here, including the potato one. So you know it's special for some reason, but you don't know why initially. Here we go. We also have the pink flower, which honestly, it could either be another secret, like if we see any pink flowers around here, um, but it also could just be showing us that we can water the plants here. Okay, let's try it. See, we can interact with her. Thank you, that's my favorite flower. I got a surprise for you. You're welcome. But you'll have to turn around. Are you still mad at me for decapitating you in the other run? Hopefully not. Achievement unlocked peekaboo. Oh, you're close to me. Thank you. Ah, it matches your pretty dress. I love it. Okay, shall we put in the red tape? I'm nervous. It's been three weeks since local television producer Sam Colton was reported missing and authorities oh. still have no leads. Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer, the public access children's educational program that became a huge hit among area children. But with Colton's disappearance, the future of the show remains unclear. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment purchased rights Hamlin. to the live action program starring Colton's daughter, Rebecca. As budget and production value Rebecca. increased, Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series, planning to syndicate the program nationally. Oh. Hamlin's acquisition of the program and Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. And to further fuel these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. <laughs> My kids yeah. are still really into that show, but it has changed. I mean, I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. I mean, what is that? That's not something you tell impressionable kids. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. Oh no, they're possessing kids. It's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. Mm. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment for an interview. While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. Interesting. For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Public Woolies Library, Woolies Readathon, this Woolies Saturday Readathon. evening. Rest assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Oh. Despite this statement, authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. We I think it was demons. Future updates as the story develops. It's definitely when we return, demons. We'll check in with Zappo, the talking gerbil. Zappo! <laughs> I want to see Zappo. Wait, no, it's going to end, it's isn't me, it? Your friend, Skip. And Hi, Skip. Me, as always, is my trusty dog. <laughs> oh, Chip. Oh, Chip. Where'd Skip go? Hey! Bring back the cute dog. Bring back the cute dog, please. All right, well, that was another tape. Um, we have a name, Rebecca. Did we know Rebecca before? I don't think we did. We have Rebecca, we have Sam, we have Hamlin. We have uh, Colton is the last name, right? We have a couple different things that we can try in terms of codes. Um, I'm really interested. Okay, let's put in some more tapes, I guess. Okay, so we have two more tapes we can find. One, two. In the credits, at least. So this is the first time we have seven letters, which Rebecca's name. No, that's not what they're called. Try. 
Okay, we can also do the tornado warning. Tornado goes. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. So this Dad. is the thing. It says, what do you call a daddy chicken or something like that? And so if Rebecca's the daughter, then the dad would be Sam. Wait, what did you say? How do you... Where should we go How did I know that? I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> Can you tell me where we can find the sheep? I don't... What if I don't want to? Ew! I don't want to see those. They're scary. They're scary. You're scary. I don't want to go near... Oh, flood warning. Okay. And then we'll do this. <gasps> Wait! Tape! Okay. Let me do this and then we'll do the tape. <gasps> oh god, it scared me again. Okay, so we have two different tapes <laughs> we can use. All right, Amanda, I'm coming back. Okay, in addition to the books, because this one I'm pretty confident says who is Wooly, which is interesting. And then there's also um, here something called Glow Flocks, the untold story. And when you look up Glow Flocks, it looks like a game, but it's also in relation to the flowers. They look similar to the flowers that are being grown. So even if it's just for lore bits and not necessarily in relation to the the secrets that you can get here. Um, I think that's interesting. And then also, an, uh, am I being followed? An autobiography. <laughs> an inquisitive Ian discovery tax. Oh, inquisitive Ian discovers tax fraud, which seems like a funny meme book, but maybe it's, maybe that's the key to everything. Maybe tax fraud is the key to everything in this story. Who knows? Okay, time to watch the green tape. Are you guys ready? I'm nervous. Not even gonna lie. Hello? Coffee break with Sadie Copper. Writing this down. Welcome to Coffee Break. Today I'm talking with Sam Colton, the creator of the hit kids show, Amanda the Adventurer. Hi, and Sam. I have to say, a fantastic studio neighbor. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. Though, I am going to gain 50 pounds if in the you back. keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. <laughs> you can't have a coffee break without cookies. Cookies. <laughs> Sam, last year you started producing Amanda the Adventurer right here in the studio. The whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation? Honestly, Sadie, no. <laughs> it was a total surprise. I mean, it's scrappy at best. You know how it is when you have a big idea and a little budget. I don't know if I know <laughs> Did he just shade her? <laughs> Kids <don't really laughs> Did he just shade that, her though. show? They see the heart. And boy, does your show have a big heart. You know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, for being such Kate. a champion of the project. I think she's talked about it at every single story time. Hmm. I think it's just so rare nowadays for kids' shows to be so much fun, mm. but also really teach kids something, isn't it? Mm. Interesting. What inspired you to create Amanda? I wanted to create a show that teaches children that our world is a magical place, that there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. <laughs> the There's little demons waiting around every corner. Of kids' imaginations. But really, it's all Rebecca. Rebecca. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. You know, she was so young when I adopted her. And despite what she's gone through, she's always seen the world with such kindness and joy. She's the Are light you sure? of my life. A hundred percent of the time. So happy to share that light with our community. She really is something special. Light. Watching her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see big things happening with Amanda the Adventurer? I've actually had some people approach me about it. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. So it was originally live I action. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's exciting. It feels like a dream, the idea of welcoming even more kids into this wild, creative world. No, don't say it like it that. Like my little show could really have a big impact. So were they putting That's people incredible. into the cartoons? Sam, thanks so much for having a coffee break with me today. Our community is so lucky to have you. And Rebecca. On our next coffee break, floral arrangements for all occasions. 
Featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood, Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Am I supposed to do something? The doll's gone at this point. Um, with the flowers here? This is interesting. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. Thank you, Sadie. How are you going to And you have some <laughs> Sadie and Sam from the land. <laughs> cookies. I keep mentioning cookies, and Amanda wanted cookies in the treats thing. So it's interesting. I My theory is that they somehow trapped the real Rebecca... Because Amanda says, I'm still out there somewhere. And they're, like, so maybe doing experiments on her or trapped her soul somehow. They're, like, kidnapping kids. I don't know. I'd have to rewatch some of this and, and, and let it sink in my brain and theorize about it. Oh, but it did say energy manipulation. So it could that could be the case. It could be some sort of supernatural thing here. Energy transfer would see sigils. TR investigating. Potential for dynakinesis. So they could be literally like transferring these kids' energies into the show. Be interesting. Who is TR, by the way? Who can help when you are hurting? Who can help when you are hurting? Nobody? You're probably right. Let's take Achievement one unlocked the sad truth. to see a doctor. Hmm, which room should we go into to find the right doctor to help Wooly? Is this going to make a difference now at this point? Wait, hold on. <gasps> tape! Is this the... Okay, this is the fifth tape. I still think we have one more to find somehow. Okay, time to use the purple tape. What nightmare awaits us for this one? <clears throat> Another home video? Or no? What does that say? Recording? Rebecca, that was great. Let's move on to the next one. Bye-yo. 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 Bye-yo? Bye-man. 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 Bye-lam. Bye-lam. Uh, what is this? What is she reading? Just a few simple words. Uh, this script is specifically tuned to train the technology's dynamic voice reaction. The what? I want this to stop. This is suspicious. <sighs> Sam, why don't you take a walk for a few minutes? No. We've only got a few more of these. No, the I don't want to do that. Rebecca, what's Rebecca wrong? Rebecca sounds so young here. Who are you here? talking to? The man in the headphones. This no man... He's upset. This is going too far. Let's just take five. Rebecca, come on out and we'll... Oh, and who was hiding there? With the camcorder. Ooh, maybe it was Kate? Was it Kate, do you think? I think it could have been Kate. Oh, this is getting interesting. Friends can share other things, too. Okay. They can share secrets. Can you tell me all of your can secrets? Can I share a secret with you? Please do. I want to find all of them. Are you sure? It's a big secret. Yes. Is it really okay to share my secret with you? Amanda, I've told you three times. I'm out there. Somewhere. I sincerely think they've trapped Rebecca somehow her energy like she's still alive okay boom and the sun comes up okay a second who was that they had like a gas mask on wait oh that opens up so many theory doors is it wooly is it aunt kate like aunt kate is actually not gone is it sam 
Could be Sam. I don't think it's Amanda. It looked like too... It didn't look like a kid, unless Amanda's not a kid anymore. Oh, so interesting. I have so many more theories for this. We still have one tape that I think we can get. Although in the credits and everything, but there's six shelves on the on the thing, so I'm I'm assuming that there's going to be six tapes. Um, I'm still interested in what that book is because I'm pretty sure it says who is Wooly. I'm interested in that. I'm interested in anywhere else that you can put in codes. Although with a game this long, that would take a very long time to try and put in all of the potential possibilities. Um, so you'd have to like take hints, you know, from, from the environment and what Amanda is saying and everything. There were so many dates too. Dates I think could be an interesting to input. Um, also by Bell and Ba Lamb and Pie Man are interesting for her voice when, during that one secret tape or whatever. There's also a good amount of names in here. There was Jordan, who is the brother that went missing. Riley, who I can't remember. I think that might be the kid from the very beginning. Sadie was the interviewer. Sam is the dad and the creator of it. There's Rebecca, there's Joanne Cook, there's Kate, there's Wooly, there's Justin. So I feel like there's still a lot to explore potentially in this game. I'm pretty sure, I think I might've gotten all the achievements with that, unless I'm missing a tape still. No, cause I think, I think that I, with that, that, that wrapped it up. So I don't know if I'm just being paranoid here and like secret searching and everything. There's also seems to be a lot of um, interesting possibilities with the bot, the bot at the very end. Not at the very end, um, the one that we splash water on. I can't remember the name of it. Best friend bot, that's what I'm gonna call him. Um, in terms of dates and codes and longer things, because that's the only one you can put in longer codes. Plus some of the padlocks, I just have a feeling are set codes. I, I don't think that you can put an input a different code and there be something different in them. I think those are, are just the way that they are. Um, I think the only thing that maybe can give us more information is the bot in terms of numbers. So you could try put inputting numbers and then you could also try with the, um, the little piano, but that's more limited because you don't have as many, you don't have as many, um, uh, letters as you would in typing it out on the computer. So I'd be interested. I'd be very interested. If you guys would be interested in seeing another secret hunting video after I complete, like what I believe to be the end of the game, but still going back in and, and doing that, um, I can certainly search for secrets. I love searching for secrets, if you can't tell. <laughs> I, I genuinely love puzzle hunting. I love lore. I love things like this. Um, it was a lot of fun for me to go through the game and see the different things. I like that they have the live action aspect of it. I like that they're building the lore. I have no idea if they're planning on doing a different game or like somehow, you know, moving forward with it. I think it's also interesting how it started out as live action canonically and then moved into a cartoon. So Amanda was actually acting in a studio and we haven't seen anything as to Amanda acting in the studio. That would be interesting if that, if that was a, somehow a secret tape. And then we also don't know who Wooly is. Wooly could be Jordan, but I'm not sure about that. Wooly could also be the demon puppeteering everything behind the scenes, too. Which I think is a possibility. Okay, ooh, we got a hat! We got a hat sticker! Okay, is that it? Or do you think there's still gonna be another sticker? There's gonna be more stickers. We've got the whole TV to fill up if we want it to. But I've thoroughly enjoyed this. I hope you guys have too. If you did, be sure to leave a like down in the video and let me know down in the comments. But on that note, I'm going to say farewell, friends. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to alone out there, and I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.